Hey guys, Tyrop here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove unwanted user-generated content from your Code 2 client, whether this be skins, decals, you know, all those aesthetics, maps, or mods. Now, first off, why would you want to do this? Maybe you want a little bit more storage space. Maybe you just want to declutter your interface. You know, I've got all these extra skins. I don't know which ones are official, which ones will work in auto match, which ones will only work in custom games, or maybe when you come over to your interface, you've subscribed to a map which is now an auto match and it's appearing in the auto match list. And when you veto it, it's just like kind of annoying having both of them in here. Or maybe you're a tournament player, you've now got multiple versions of a map and this could cause issues if you select the wrong version for a tournament game. So there are a lot of reasons to get rid of these and I'll be showing you how to do just that. But before I get started, if you don't want to go through all this hassle, because there's quite a lot of hassle, and you just want to filter out the skins a little bit, what you can do is come down to the skin section at the bottom here and go to, say, like, summer light vehicle skins. And then oftentimes these mod makers, for the skins at least, don't categorize these skins properly, so all the custom skins often won't appear in here. So you can still see there are two custom skins here, this one here, and this one here, but all the other ones have been filtered out because the mod maker didn't categorize them properly. So that's just a quick way to try and filter out a few of the unwanted skins if you don't want to go through this hassle of trying to delete everything. So first step, if you never want any of these custom aesthetics ever again, what you should do is come down to the menu and go to the options, graphics, and then to custom aesthetics off. This means if you join a custom game and people have got these aesthetics equipped, you'll just see like the default skins. You just won't see the custom skins at all. You won't download them. So that's really nice. Make sure Company of Heroes 2 is closed. Next, you'll need to go to the Steam Workshop for Company of Heroes 2. So come to the Community tab and then go to Workshop. And type in Company of Heroes 2 into here. Then you need to go to your files, subscribed items. So here are all the items I'm subscribed to. I've got a mod, got uh, some maps, some face plates, decals, skins. It's all in here. So the simplest way to do things here is just go unsubscribe from all. If you've just got nothing that you want, you just hit this button, and boom. That's part of the job done. There's still a little bit more to go, but as part of the job done. Otherwise, if there are some things you want, you're gonna to have to go through here manually and just click unsubscribe to them all. Now I've completed going through and unsubscribe from all the stuff I don't want. You see, I've got eight left and before I had 50 something, I believe. But unfortunately, if we open up code two, as you can see, all these items are still in game. So you actually have to go through and manually delete them in the folders. So to delete the unwanted files after you've finished unsubscribing from them on the workshop, what you need to do is come to your documents folder, then go to my games, company of heroes 2, mods. And then inside this folder, you can just select all of these and then hit delete. So now all these files are deleted and next time you start up Company of Heroes 2, all the mods that you want will be re-downloaded. may take a little bit of time, you might have to restart Code 2 again, especially if your internet's a bit slow. But yeah, all the unwanted files are now deleted and your desirable mods will be re-downloaded. And now after deleting those folders, I've started Code 2 back up again. And if we go to the skins folder, as you can see here, all the skins that I didn't want are now gone. Same with the faceplates. We have this one I didn't unsubscribe to and it's here. It got re-downloaded basically straight away as I uh, start the game. Similar story if we go to maps. A couple maps I stay subscribed to. These test maps, they're still here. Got re-downloaded. And same for the mods. A couple mods I wanted to stay subscribed to. They're still in here. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this guide on how to delete unwanted customizations from Code 2. And until next time, goodbye and good luck. A special thank you goes out to my Patreon backers and donators that help make videos like this possible. 